America is truly an experiment in liberty. And he was founded on a set of ideas called freedom. It's the first time in history that government's purpose wasn't to grant or deny rights, but to protect those God-given rights that people have. For something to care about in our government, and I just, I'm so grateful to be here, and I want to thank you guys for existing. I want to, of course, want to thank Ron Paul. Ron, on behalf of us, to the mainstream media. When I saw the voice of a trusty friend And you think you and me can tell me lies Yes, you and me can tell me lies And I lied to and did I don't mind And as we've seen so sadly fine And when you need to go back to me here But now when I'm shooting the three of you What will be with you and me? I still can't get over the way you did me Won't believe I get it to be here, and I just want to give a thank you to Dr. Paul. I think he deserves a round of applause because we wouldn't be here without him. It's a great feeling to be here and, and be in the right place. You know, they want to change it to steel, 
uh, but they can't even afford the steel. If you have a steel penny instead, again, we're off the gold, off the silver, we're off the copper standard, now we're on the zinc standard, we're off the, we can't even afford a zinc penny, so that now they want to make them on steel, but the steel, by the time you pay for labor, it costs more than a penny to make a steel penny. So, there was an article, a headline came out the other day, the other day it said, uh, will, can we save the penny? And I got to think it, well, they don't understand monetary policy or they wouldn't be talking that way. The bigger question that we will be forced to face is can we save the dollar? <laughs> and now we're in the midst of a, of a chain, providing an opportunity for a revolution towards liberty. This has provided some very serious problems for us. It will not be smooth sailing. But there's reason to be optimistic that we can have great achievement. But to me, the three problems that we have to face. Number one, that I see as the problem, and if we solved it, it probably would solve most of the other one. And that is the attack on personal liberty. Regardless of our judgment about how people are using that liberty, then we would have the natural sequence of saying, if that is the case, you have a natural right to keep the fruits of your labor. And all of it. That we can reverse this. If we don't believe it can happen, then we don't have a prayer of a chance. We can turn it around if we put the work in Thank you.